Welcome to command line basics. Now, during the course of this class, we are going to explain everything that has to do with command line interface. In other words, we can call it CLI. Now, starting from the very beginning, let's look at what we have on the screen. This is a black screen, or we can say a black interface. What does it enable us to do? Basically, it enables us to impute any command that we want. So instead of a GUI whereby the computer is actually telling us what to do, is assisting us, CLI means command line interface. This time around, we are the one telling the computer. We are the one, in a way, assisting the computer. We are telling the computer exactly what we want to do, unlike GUI. Now, like I said before, those basic operations that we do on GUI, GUI means graphical user interface, those are basic operations that we do on GUI. We can repeat the same thing here, but this time around, we're going to be using commands. So that's what this class is going to be about. Now, before starting, I'd like to explain what you can see on the screen. And I'll just tell you like some basic things that you can always do. To begin with, I can do something like this. Then I split terminal horizontally, vertically. These are basic things that you can actually um, discover on your own. You may want to copy a selection, paste a selection. You may want to split terminal vertically. What it means is that you can perform actions here. And at the same time, we can perform action on the other side. Now, let me collapse this terminal. It means we are back to defaults. Okay, now it is clear. Now, let me explain this dollar sign you can see here. The dollar sign you can see here basically means that you are like a normal user. This Kali at Kali, like you know the name of the password. Already. It means you are like a normal user now, or you are a user with normal account. Definitely, it means you have limited rights. Yes. And that limited rights means you cannot change like important system files. You cannot. So let's let's see who we have. This is a command used to know who you are. So it's saying Kali here. So the registered normal user on this account is actually named Kali. Now, this is another command. If you want to clear the content of the screen, you can use clear command. It has cleared the content of the screen. If we want to change, all, all, all the things I'm saying now, they're just basic, talking about, basic things, talking about accounts and how you can change. Let's say you want to move to being a super user, you can use sudo su, then it asks you for password, okay, I already did it before, that's why it's not asking me for password, but in normal, like ordinarily, it's actually meant to ask me for password, so let me go back, okay, exit, okay, then I clear my screen, now, those ones have been said, we can start, please, it's vital to know the, to know liners like the inventor, and basic things about it, but the scope of this class will cover the command and how we can use it. Let's start with the simple one. Now, there is something they call command, there's something they call option or argument, and there's something they call command parameter. The command parameter, option, argument, they all mean the same thing. Now, this example of this, these are the examples of command. We have ls. I will explain those ones in details. We have cards. I will explain all of them in detail. Just you want to view something. We have PWD. You want to know where you are. We have CP to copy. We have MP to move. We have dates. If you want to know, let's see if okay, it has our dates here. Now these are just commands. Now there's something called parameter. Parameter means those additional things you add to your command to enhance the capacity or the capability. So let's clear this. Now, we have ls-i-fin. 
L. Just look at the difference between ordinary LS. LS means to list the content of a, of, a, of a directory or a folder of a folder. Now it is listing it ordinarily. LS is just what is this, 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 this. but LS I think L is long listing it. Now let's use another argument. LS I think L E that's you can see this one is more than what we had before. So even the hidden files it is listing it out. So basically just know that ls is for listing i think l long listing i think a so list all of them so a is actually for all of them it's like an argument that is used to enhance the capability of ls so let's clear the screen now we can proceed like i said earlier on you are logged into a computer to know who is registered you use the who am i command who am i command you press who am i the registered user there is kali now remember i told you this dollar sign is for normal user now let's change to a super user or an admin sort of or a root user you can see it has changed to this hash sign it's quite different from the dollar sign so that's the difference between this dollar sign and this hash sign. So like I did before, we can exit out of this place. Now, let's talk about the first command, which is PWD, PWD, PWD. Don't mind what I'm going to write now, but I, I just explain what PWD is. Now I list everything, then I go to downloads. I know I'm writing some strange commands, but just wait. Okay, we don't have anything in download. Okay. Now, let's um Okay, good. Now, I'll press the pwd command and you see what it's going to bring for me. Now, the pwd command Please do not bother about what I've written so far. I'm going to explain everything later on in the class. Now, basically, the PWD command is going to print out the working directory. The meaning is print working directory. Basically, what it does is just show you the, your directory, like to tell you exactly where you are in the computer. So from home, we navigated to Kali, we navigated to download, and there is a folder in downloads called Boniface that we navigated there also. I think that is clear. So that is for PWD. Like we did before, there is a, so let's just go back. I would always tell you if I'm writing any command that is strange, don't bother. We are going to get to the stage where we explain it. So if we want to go back, We'll talk about this one later. Now, there is a command called date. These are basic commands. It shows you your date ordinarily. Now, there are parameters. Remember when we talked about arguments? Remember when we talked about arguments? There are parameters that are short. There are parameters that are long. Yes. So we have short parameters. We have long parameters. What are parameters again? Something like ls I think L. That L you are seeing there. This L. Sorry. This L you are seeing here is a parameter or an argument. So there are short parameters, there are long parameters. Good. So be very careful. A parameter in different command has different meaning. Yes, a parameter in different command has different. Take for example this popular ls that we are using. I will use ls I think C. It's going to it's going to the way it's going to list it will be different from what we use inject I think C. Now this ls, LS I think C will give you like the it's going to list it by by timestamp. Okay. My point is that when you use it with another command, it has tendency of giving you like different results. Okay, now let's talk about um, long parameters. Long parameters. 
Top level ones that we have is iFin, iFin Help. We also have iFin, iFin Version. Okay, let's use um, let's use the popular LS that we know. LS iFin, iFin All. Still similar to LS iFin A. You can see. So this that the difference between long and short parameters. Moving further, the reason why I clear the screen the screen as regular as possible is to um, not make the screen a lot of content, so it's not going to be overwhelming. So we clear the content of the screen with clear command. Okay. So you know the su command I already said before to switch user. So when you use SU, then you now use I think L as the kind of terminal computer that you want to log in. Let's try it out. SU I think L asking us for password. I provide my password. Mind you, when you provide a password in, in this, it's not going to show it. So don't think um, don't think you are wrong or or you're not typing into it, but it's faulty. No, it's not. Okay. So we proceed. We already talked about ls l ls A. Then there is one that is called. Okay. If you want to know more about different other parameters, I'm trying to make the video as short as possible so that all the content will be contained in this very small video. If you want to know more about different parameters, you can actually look at a cheat sheet. Cheat sheet is like a compilation of different commands and the parameters or arguments, any other you want to call it. Okay. So let's continue. We've talked about different commands. Now, just in a bit to summarize what I've said so far, when the user is a normal user, the dollar sign will show. When it's a super user, you know the sign that's going to show the hash sign or nar sign or something. Now, we talked about some very popular commands, ls, pwd, su, who am I? We talked about command parameter. Now, we talk, now there's this, to wrap it up for that uh, part, we can say something like there's a virtual console. It allows you to have several interface, shell section or session active at the same time. So this is going to be like session one of Linux command line basics.